Welcome to my jungle classroom. My name is Louis the Lion, and today we are going to learn all about the L sound. The L sound is one of the trickiest sounds we have to learn, but I know with some hard work. We're going to be able to make some awesome L sounds today. One of the reasons I want you to learn how to say awesome L sounds is because the coolest animal in the jungle starts with the letter L. And I am not talking about lizards. I am talking about lions, of course. If you're up for the challenge to learn how to make the best L sounds in the whole jungle, let's go. A new body part that you may not know about is called the alveolar ridge. Another name we can call the alveolar ridge is the bumpy spot. The bumpy spot is found behind our front teeth, right here. The reason that the bumpy spot is so important for the L sound is that our tongue tip is going to raise from the bottom of our mouth to touch the bumpy spot when we want to make L sounds. Before we start learning more about the L sound, let's do a quick review about the important body parts we use to help make sounds. Some important parts of our body that help us make awesome L sounds are our lips, tongue, teeth, and the bumpy spot. The first body parts we are going to talk about are our lips. We have two lips, the upper lip, and the lower lip. The two parts where our lips come together on the sides of our lips are called the corners of our lips. When making the L sound, we want to imagine that there is magical strings pulling the corners of our lips backwards. When this magical string pulls the corners back, our mouth makes a smile. It's important to remember to have the magical strings pull our lips backwards because if we don't, our lips might round like we are trying to pucker up and kiss a frog. When our lips round into a circle, our L sound turns into a W sound. For example, if I saw this picture and wanted to say what it was, but I rounded my lips, it would sound like walk instead of lock. The next body part we are going to talk about is our tongue. Our tongue can do amazing things like taste delicious ice cream or catch raindrops if you stick it out. But today we need it to move in a special way to help make the L sound. Before we talk about the special movements of the tongue, let's talk about the important parts of the tongue. The very front part of the tongue is called the tongue tip. These two parts of the tongue are called the sides of the tongue. The part of the tongue all the way back here is called the back of the tongue. The last body parts we're going to talk about are our top teeth and the bumpy spot. We find the bumpy spot behind our top front teeth. When making the L sound, we want to pretend that our tongue tip is playing a game of tag with the bumpy spot. When making the L sound, we want to make sure that our tongue tip is touching the area where the bullseye is. As we have learned, we call this area the bumpy spot. Let's pretend that we are using the invisible strings that pull the corners of our lips back, but this time, the strings are pulling the tongue tip up towards the bullseye on the bumpy spot. Even with the help of the invisible strings, we need to make sure we are using our brain and muscles to remember to bring the tongue tip up. When we raise the tip of the tongue to the bumpy spot, the air we produce flows over the sides of our tongue. When we have our tongue tip raised up, 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 our L sounds are going to sound amazing. But we need to be careful. If we don't get the sides of our tongue up, our tongue will remain flat at the bottom of our mouth. We can call the flat tongue a sleeping tongue. When our tongue sleeps when we are trying to make L sounds, we might say wham instead of lamb or white instead of light. To make sure we know where the important body parts are in order to make the jungle's most awesome L sounds, let's review quickly. If you can find a popsicle stick or tongue depressor, that would be awesome. If you can't find one, wash your hands really well, and then let's get started. I'm going to say some of the parts we learned, and then I want you to touch them on your body or the screen. Top teeth. The corners of the lips. The back of the tongue. The sides of the tongue. The bumpy spot. The tongue tip. Now that we know the special body parts and where those special body parts are supposed to move to make the L sound, let's practice some words. On the whiteboard that my friend Zane the Zebra pushes out, there is going to be a picture that has the L sound in it. Your job is to listen to how I say the word and then tell me how I did. Listen carefully, because I may try to trick you by saying a W instead of an L. Remember, to make awesome L sounds, we want to pull back the corners of our lips and bring the tongue tip up to the bumpy spot. 
If I make an awesome L sound, point to the green thumbs up. And if I could do better, point to the yellow thumb that is pointing sideways. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, listen closely. I'm about to say the first word. Wham. Well, how do you think I did? Do I deserve a thumbs up or a thumbs to the side? I agree. I rounded my lips and my tongue stayed sleeping on the bottom of my mouth. Let me try again. This time I'm going to focus on bringing the corners of my lips into a smile and bringing the tip of my tongue to the bumpy spot. Lamb. Do you think I did better on the second try? Thank you. I agree. I was able to smile with my lips and wake up my tongue and lift it all the way to the bumpy spot. Now, I am going to show you ten more pictures. And I want you to listen and point to the thumbs up or the sideways thumb depending on how I did. For the next ten pictures, I'm not going to stop in between like the last one, so get on your best listening ears. And let's do it. Lock. Wog. Lake. Weep. White. Lollipop. A what? Violin. Be woe. Alligator. Awesome work paying attention to the sounds. Hopefully, you were able to hear the difference between awesome L sounds and the errors when we make the W sound. Now, if you have time, I would love to share with you some secret tips that can help you practice and learn how to say the L sound. Some of these tips are kind of crazy, and some are kind of tasty. The first tip to teach our tongue tip where to go to make the L sound is to have a teacher or parent rub a lollipop or sucker onto the bumpy spot. Then after they have done this, see if your tongue tip can find the bumpy spot that is now covered in lollipop flavor. Peanut butter or any type of spreadable food works too. The second thing we can try to get our tongue tip used to traveling to the bumpy spot is grabbing a Cheerio or any piece of your favorite cereal. Try and hold the Cheerio against the bumpy spot by just using the tip of your tongue. If your tongue tip is still forgetting to go up to the bumpy spot, try practicing the T and D sounds. When we make these sounds, our tongue tip also touches the bumpy spot. Some people like to call the L sound the singing sound, because we can say la 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 and make it into a song. If you want to try it out, go ahead. Awesome job becoming the best L sound maker in the whole jungle. Now that we know what body parts have to move and where those body parts have to go, we are going to be able to rock all the L sounds we come across. If you would like to stick around, I am going to show 25 L words that you can practice. Awesome job! Those were some of the best L sounds that I have ever heard. If you would like to practice your L sound some more, check out our YouTube channel where we have more L sound practice videos featuring characters from Pokemon, Paw Patrol, Minecraft, and more. 
If you would like more free videos, games, downloadable activities, virtual materials, boom cards, and more, visit our website freeslp.com.